Hello, my friend, back again with a weekly performance, a Forex performance update. Well, here over at the FXAce.com. And in this video, we're going to go over the trades we placed uh, this week with our uh, signal and trade copy service. Okay, so first video I've showed my face in a while. So uh, if you're new to my channel, hello. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. So let's get into the the video i will hide my uh, mug and okay so this week we had just with the signal service of trades that have activated off our pending orders we had five setups that triggered and we did have an, a nice manual signal on the uh euro usd okay manual signals are what ex are explained in the service where we use uh our entry point and a divergence signal that happens within 30 to 40 pips of this uh, entry point. Okay, it allows, us, allows me and my clients to uh, make uh, more pips if the opportunity arises during the week. Okay, so with our weekly trades, we banked around 160 pips. We still have one trade open on the USD card that is uh, currently negative around 20 pips. And we had uh, one daily signal on the British pound Aussie that banked us around 70 pips this week. So giving us a total of around 230 pips, if I'm adding up correctly, okay? So the live account, you can see live account, this one is growing nicely. This is one I've moved over to Fusion Markets, okay, uh, two months ago. Okay, you can see the old accounts down here. We also have the Copier Pro demo account here that is has been being tracked since uh, last September. So you can see all the results there long term okay on this week account this is my own personal account okay we had uh 3.73 gain which is good okay and might see that might be a bit much for a weekly gain uh just to let you know i do take a little bit more risk on my account my drawdowns when i do have a drawdown on my own personal account it is a little bit more okay as i've been trading a long time so i know my own thresholds i know my own methods so i know uh, the drawdowns that i can handle okay that comes with experience and also emotional intelligence when you are in drawdown periods but at the minute we are moving nicely and yeah so it was a nice gain okay let's have a look at the trade so we're going to go over the trades now first one is the current trade that is still open it is on the usd uh, CAD, okay. We were looking to enter this at one uh, twenty-five five hundred. Just basically, because it's inside this, move that. Okay, we were buyers of this not long ago. We had this huge down move here, and I think six weeks ago, this was one of my trades to buy. Basically. As we were down here, I was, was expecting those videos. If you go back and watch them, I did expect it to go to 125 and above from the 120 area, which is what happened. Okay, now I have turned uh, a weekly seller, a weekly swing seller, meaning the trades that I place are opened on a Monday and closed on a Friday. Okay, depending on when they trigger throughout the week, they can last anywhere from one to five days. Okay, the USD CAD triggered last night. So, and did go a little bit against me. Woke up this morning to this one was negative, which is okay. They do happen. We do have losing positions. And I do expect it to move down. Okay, from here. Okay, we are at, in this leg down here, we are at the last swing high that caused the last move down. Okay, this was the last swing that actually had the impulse selling pressure down to create the low in this huge leg here so i do expect a little bit of selling pressure here to get us into uh, position okay you can see at this weekly inside this weekly level we've got a bit of resistance here in the past you can see this was the swing that created the swing low you can see it failed several times to move up higher then broke to the downside so this will uh, act as a little a bit of resistance when it comes back up to there which is what's happening now Okay, I was looking at the end of this at 125.500. I didn't expect it to pop up and take out this high. It has, and but I do expect it to uh, move down here. We will see by the end of the day. But this position 
whether negative or positive, will be closed by the end of the day. So that is the reason, the reason behind that position. Okay, next we're going to look at the Euro USD manual uh, entry. Okay, it was based off a, a four hour divergence. Okay. The reason I'm entering this position, we are in this weekly uh, buying area here. Okay, after this leg up rally in price, the market has re reacted here once already. The reaction on the weekly wasn't uh, sufficient enough to create a new high, indicating long term weakness. But this is a kind of area we can trade on a weekly swing position for a short term move to the upside. Okay, the way I trade this is off a daily untested area, which as you can see here is this is the kind of this is the area here that caused this huge impulse move up okay on the daily charts it took out this high and created the, kind of this high in this small trend up here so as the market's moving down towards here you can see the price action compared to this drop here the market is starting to slow down okay these drops are getting uh shorter and buyers have started to come into the market okay in the daily charts and that's exactly what happened two days ago it's what i was expecting this week okay we did have this input the first impulse change of structure down here the first swing we had the second one here last week and then this week i did expect it to take out this low create another uh, low and then move to the upside this it hasn't moved well up to the upside yet but it has started to move to the upside so the entry in this was uh 117,600. Uh, you can see already a bit more clear price action, the momentum slowing down as it approaches this area that I was looking to trade. The markets or the price action is slowing down. Okay, a lot of diversion signals happening here in the four hour charts. It came within 10 pips of my pending order entry, but as you can see down here, we had a divergence signal happening with the MACD divergence signal. Okay, I give this away free. Anyone who wants this uh, indicator here, just so simply send me a message at willofthefxace.com and it does come free with our uh, signal service. Okay, so that was the reason for that trade there. We're at a weekly area. We've got an untested daily area and price action on the lower time frame charts, which is key, is slowing down. We've got this period of accumulation occurring here. You can, If you zoom out, you can see it a lot more clearly. Okay, we've had this huge drop. The market's then this change of structure here in this drop, the market swings high, then starts getting really choppy here. Okay, swings up, fails again, and this is what I was expecting to happen this week, to move down into this kind of area down here. Okay, we missed the, the pending order, missed by 10 pips, but uh, manual signal would have been nice in that position. And as you can see, it popped up from there, nearly uh, 100 pips, okay. So a nice trade on manual entry trade on the Euro uh, USD. Three positions possibly on the Euro pairs this week. The one for two from the spreadsheet that triggered with the Euro Swiss franc and the Euro uh, uh, Kiwi. Two good trades. Okay. Basically again, okay, looking at a weekly area here. This one's a lot more clear. Okay. We've had that we've had this sideways movement here on this chart then there was a resistance area here on the weekly that got break broken out earlier in this year okay this we just zoom in a little bit now this area here was the area where the impulse move to the upside happened okay the breakout the market's slowly been making it way, its way back down to this area this is an area where i'd look to buy in the future it's there now it happens was there this week at 108 100 it's the area that we entered at and it's the reason for the trade this week okay exactly what i thought would happen here was we get a divergence that's why i'm looking to enter around this area markets moving sideways similar to the euro usd we have got these drops down here and then the market starts to move sideways on the four hour charts divergence signals happening and i do expect this to break out and start moving to the upside we will see but it was a nice uh, trade this week we got around 40 pips on it so euro Swiss franc, nice uh, position. Euro Kiwi, okay, this was, because uh, the price action choppy, I was looking to take a position on the, the four hour charts here. We are in this period of accumulation. The market is moving very choppily sideways here. So I'm looking to basically trade inside this choppiness. So I'm looking for areas on the chart, which possibly 
uh, get me into a position. As you can see, this area here last week on the four hour charts caused this huge impulse move to the upside. And this is an area I was looking to trade this week. I was looking actually just to trade before it. Okay, we had this huge drop. This actually drop happened on news down into this area. Okay, did front this front run this trade a little bit at 160 at 400. We exited this trade last night, but as you can see, it was a good uh, position from our entry. Uh, it moved up nearly 100 pips. We got around 70 pips in that. Okay, so nice trade on that. Okay, and a little more, a little more complicated in how I trade. Basically, price actions moving sideways. I'm looking for setups inside this area. Look for like a four hour huge impulse move to the upside. Untested, which is this area here. This area, because of the sheer, sheer uh, volume or sheer spike in this price, this is going to get a reaction when price comes back down to here, which is what happened. And it's untested, and that's the reason I was looking to enter that position this week on the Euro uh, Kiwi. Okay, so two trades left. Aussie Swiss Franc was trade. Aussie Swiss Franc, sorry, which uh, triggered last night, and um, we've exited with uh, twenty pips today. Okay, it opened up this morning and just exited for the take the profit on it. Okay, so it was a profitable position. Twenty pips is twenty pips. Okay. Again, looking at this position, we'll just zoom out a little bit, we can see, okay, we've had this leg up moving nicely. Okay, I'm looking for, we had this area of resistance here, and then we had the breakout of that resistance. So I'm looking on the weekly chart an area that caused the breakout, which is here. Okay, we had this small breakout, the swing low, and then this huge impulse move to the upside, and then the market moving uh, sideways, coming back down towards this area. This is a key area of interest for me to look to uh, buy on the short term. Again, and possibly the long term, this could uh, just basically on this price action. This is a breakout, move back, move down to where it broke out from slowly, and then impulse move to the upside. Looking at the higher time frames, this could uh, continue up to the upside. Okay. If we look at the lower time frames, again, these huge drops, the market moving uh, sideways. We're looking at the end of this trade at uh 68 100 i think yep 68 100 it was okay and we closed this trade yesterday and we got around 60 pips on it okay so it was a nice position you can see sorry i'm, I'm actually thinking of the aussie card so this was 68 100 we're looking to get into this sorry about that it triggered last night down here and yeah we got around 20 pips in it this morning. Uh, yeah, nice position. The next trade is Aussie CAD. Okay, similar story. Okay, I was looking at this before. That's why. Similar story. Okay, we've had this kind of huge drop down this downtrend in this up leg here. Okay, there wasn't really many pullbacks on this uptrend till uh, here. Okay, this swing low and then this swing low. Okay, here caused this swing high okay this is where the, this was basically impulse moved up took out this high and created the new high on all-time highs in this trend so as the market's coming back down here we're looking for a slowing of momentum at this area to indicate the market is moving uh, back up and as we're coming down into this area it's clear on the daily charts we've got we're no longer in a downtrend the short-term downtrend on the daily the market has been in this period of accumulation for several weeks now, which is why I'm looking to uh, trade this area. Okay, market moving sideways. This is possibly the spring here, and uh, the market to break up to the upside. So this was a trade I entered basically on the, the open this week. Uh, we closed yesterday for around 60 pips. I do expect this longer term to break out. Okay, I'll look for a breakout of this area and then a, a pullback and then a continue of the rally. Okay, we will see. What happens but that's the reason for that trade this was basically uh getting in down here okay if we zoom out a little bit in this period of accumulation what i see is happening here okay the market's been rallied up here from this uh low here okay low with the divergence was indicating buyers have started to come into the market this is possibly in institutions and then if you see this possible price action here on the four hour charts it many times okay 
six or seven times there, it has failed to break to the downside, indicating a period of support just before a breakout to the upside. Okay, and this is the area I was looking to get in this week at 93,100. It sprung down early in the week, triggered us, and it has moved up. We closed out yesterday at the top of the accumulation period, basically up around here. We're going around about 60 or 70 pips on it. And I will look to take this trade again. As you can see, I think it's looking at the price action. It's starting to build a bullish momentum based on this rallying price here. Then this uh, four-hour sideways movement. It's basically six or seven times failed to move to the downside. It's building some support. And likely, it's going to, you're going to see a huge uh, impulse move up out of here. Okay, we will see. And that is the trades for this week. It was another fantastic trading week. That is eight weeks in the trap now. Uh, all our accounts are tracked long term. If you want to join our service, simply click the link below. If you have any questions, let me know at will at the fxes.com. Hope this video helps. And yeah, I shall see you on the next video. Have a fantastic uh, weekend.